Scarfy, Scarlet Phoenix here again with you today. And today I would like to go over something just to, you know, it's it's kind of irritating to me when people just assume that something is bad when really it's it's actually pretty good. Just because the media says it's garbage. Oh, everyone's like, oh, it's garbage. For one, I don't like Rotten Tomatoes. They're their evaluations of movies and stuff just turn me off. So when they say a movie is garbage, I still go watch it anyway. <laughs> because any anything they typically like, I don't think is that good. And I think it's mainly about hype too. I think they base their reviews on hype or something like that. But today we're talking about X-Men Dark Phoenix. Me and Waffle went and watched it last night, and I know it's been out a week, but I've been working a lot. I've been working 14-hour shifts a day. Excuse me, because that's why I'm tired. So last night, we decided to go watch X-Men Dark Phoenix. And we took Russell with us. He was good. He, he even watched it. The puppy sat there and watched it. He was like, <laughs> he loved it. Gave him some popcorn. You know, we had some popcorn and watched it. And I'm going to tell you, this movie was fantastic now just to let everybody know there may be some spoilers ahead so if you haven't watched it and you don't want to know anything about the movie um i can't guarantee this is going to be spoiler free i think it 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 may have some spoilers okay so if you don't want to know about anything because you haven't watched the movie because it's only been out a week or whatever just go ahead and put this thing you're saved to watch later and then watch it after you watch the movie so, my biggest problem is, is the hate that this movie received. Because I can tell you, I think the movie was fantastic. I loved it. Okay, not only because I am a huge Dark Phoenix fan, okay, because I, you know, I've read so many of the comics and everything, and I just, I love Jean. She's my favorite character. Her and Scott, oh my god, they're my favorite X-Men couple next to, you know, like, Next to Rogue and Gambit, because I think they're great, too. But, <clears throat> I was watching this movie, and I'm thinking, oh, God. Because wa I've watched, like, all the X-Men movies, because I'm a big X-Men fan. I love Marvel Comics. I love DC. But I watch all the Marvel stuff. Except, I have not watched Captain Marvel yet. And there's a reason for that. But, it's just because I'm, I'm not overly thrilled about it. Because all the hype behind Captain Marvel... Get a grip. She's not the best character. Okay, I'm sorry, but she's not the greatest. She's not the strongest. I gotta go with my girl, Dark Phoenix. Whoop, whoop. Or just Phoenix in general. And after the movie, me and Waffle were actually, like, arguing over who's stronger. Because we I was sitting there, and Waffle, he made a comment because we watched Avengers Endgame. And he goes, oh, I, I'm pretty sure Thanos could have just destroyed her. I'm like... Boy, you watching this state in infancy. The the way the movie uh, made it seem is that this is Phoenix's state in infancy. Because she Jean just gets the powers, you know. And I really enjoy how it follows the comic based on how this is an alien entity that gets in Jean's body and takes over on her body in a way. Gives her this power, you know. Because in the last X-Men Dark Phoenix movie... I was disgusted and disappointed. Now, granted, her powers were awesome. I, I guess I just can't hate Phoenix in any way, shape, or form, or Jean Grey, okay? But, I'm going to tell you, the first couple minutes of that last movie I watched, the first Dark Phoenix movie, I'm sitting here and she kills Scott, right? Like, close to the beginning of the movie, and I'm like, that doesn't make sense because they have this great love story, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm here... What the heck? So whenever they did the um, X-Men Days of Future Past, let me tell you, I couldn't have been happier. Because that whole, everything about that was garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Okay. Uh, you know, I know her and Logan had uh, kind of like a relationship going on. Uh, she likes him. You know, I've, I've seen the comics and everything. But she loves Scott the most. The fact that she killed Scott... And the beginning of that last movie was so unrealistic. And it was... I'm not saying that the comics are realistic. But it's not canon to the story in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Now, in this movie, the new X-Men Dark Phoenix, all the characters are great. 
Oh my gosh, the acting, I really loved all the acting. And they really felt like they were the comic counterparts to themselves, okay? Whoever did the writing of this movie was really good. I feel like they were knowledgeable. Now, some of the things changed, because we all know that, you know, there was uh, some other people in hand to this Dark Phoenix thing. And then there was, you know, if you if you read the comics, you know, the Hellfire Club and all this was involved, blah, 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 blah. But I love the rendition of this, okay? The fact that, um, you know, the main thing for me is the special effects in this movie blew my mind. I might just be easily impressed, but let me tell you, when Magneto sits there and there's a bunch of these guys in a train and he just whoosh, and then just flicks them off into the air, smashes the train with all them in it, and just, whoosh, that was nothing. Let me tell you, that was really awesome. That was really cool. And, uh, like, all of the Phoenix stuff was fantastic, too. Now, a lot of people said that they had to change, I don't know if this is true or not, but they had to change the ending for X-Men because it kind of was on the same lines of what happened in Captain Marvel. But I don't, I probably will not watch Captain Marvel, okay? I was unimpressed with her in the end game. I'm just unimpressed with her character in general. Because, you know, like, I'm all for empowering women, okay? But I'm going to tell you, I I just think it's stupid that she's replacing Tony Stark, for one, okay? She's not even that. If you've watched, if you've read the Civil War 2 comics, she's trash, Okay. She is just garbage. And the fact that they're acting like, oh my god, she's the greatest. I feel like everyone's just got this huge fascination with her character. Maybe just Brie Larson in general. I'm like, she's not... The character isn't that good, okay? This guy on YouTube was uh, talking about how strong she is and everything else. I'm like, she's not that strong, okay? Sure, she's one of the stronger characters, but I don't think she's the strongest. Yeah, I feel like Thanos could probably smash her. But not Dark Phoenix. Let me tell you. A little bit of history that Waffle doesn't know about Dark Phoenix is that she flew out to space and destroyed a whole galaxy by herself. Okay. Just, you know. Thanos had to, like, literally have to have this magical glove that has all these stones in it. You know, the infinity stones and everything else. He had to gather all those to be able to snap his fingers to do that thing. And it was all random. Random. Phoenix can do whatever she wants, okay? And that's not even at the pinnacle of her power, okay? Now, I know she's an alien entity, blah, blah, blah. But still, the only one who can harbor her is Jean and, you know, Jean's daughter, if you want to read the comics or whatever. But the, the acting in this movie was great. I felt a connection to these characters. Not only because I've watched them in all these movies. But like if like when Mystique died, I was, I was taken back. I was like, oh my god, they killed her off. Like she's dead. And then like when Magneto and Beast like got this kinship because they're both in love with Mystique. I was like, oh my god. I can't believe Beast turned to kill Jean, to be honest with you. Was, that... I could see Magneto, but Beast, he was, like, very upset. And, you know, Jean didn't do it on purpose. She couldn't control it. And her having the, um, her having the Phoenix power, she, she can't control that stuff. That's why whenever, I, I kind of got a little bit upset whenever she was, like, I kind of got sad. I was, like, almost in tears because I'm watching this movie and close to the end, like, um, they all bust in there to kill Gene, uh, Magneto and his groupies, okay, and I'm sitting here like, what the heck, because she, oh man, what she does to Magneto, I, I love you Magneto, okay, but I'm telling you, I, I just love what she did to you, because, you know, you think you're all powerful and everything, and she just, ah, easy as pie, you're lucky you didn't get killed. Raven got killed, as in Mystique, but still. Um, but when Nightcrawler transports Professor Xavier into that into that building where Jean is, and she goes, you're here to kill me too, or something like that. And 
I could feel the feelings from Professor Xavier. I don't know if it's just because I, I love the comics and I love the X-Men and all this stuff. But when he sat there and he's like, never. No, never. I would never do that. We would never harm you. You know, things like that. I'm like, Professor Xavier, you're killing me, man, inside. Oh, gosh. This movie was so good. Storm in the Black Panther movies, you know, because, you know, her and Black Panther, they get together, they get married, all that stuff. I know their marriage is annulled or whatever, but still, I, I think they're, oh gosh, I hope they put her in Black Panther. But I'm going to tell you, the movie itself, if you don't look at it as, oh my gosh, it's not true to its source material, it's way more true to its source material than the other crap, okay? But this movie, the way Jean gets uh, Phoenix was good, you know, and then all of this, like, it all, it all came together nicely. Uh, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't know how I feel about Professor Xavier stepping down and becoming retired with, uh, um, in a different country, and he, I think he, like, hands it over to Beast or something like that. I don't know how I feel about that, because, come on, Beast, He's not my favorite. Okay, I'm sorry, Hank. You're not my favorite. I like Hank Pym, but I don't like Hank McCoy. Okay, I don't understand it. I feel like, you know, I understand that he's one of the original, you know, the first class and everything, but I'm sitting here like, if he's that easy to turn on one of the students, Jean, you know, after, and you know they all knew she had untapped power, yada, yada, but... He act like he was going to kill this girl because she mistakenly killed Mystique. I understand you have feelings and stuff. But as an X-Men and as a good person, you would want to understand her like Charles did. He was like, you know, we can't hurt her. And then Scott, Scott was great too. Man, they just casted so much. And they, they didn't kill Scott off. So you guys do not have to worry that Cyclops got killed because he didn't. He actually played a prominent role in it, which I thought was, I loved their connection and stuff that Gene and him had in the movie. Such a good movie. So, all I'm trying to say is, like, the special effects, the characters, the everything in it was fantastic. I can't say the same about Deadpool 2. The best part was whenever they were at the mansion in Deadpool 2, which is a spoiler here for that if you haven't watched Deadpool 2. But I imagine anybody who's fans already watched it. But the best part was when he was in the mansion with um, Colossus. And he's like, where is everybody? There's never anybody here. And he's standing there talking in the hallway. And then all the X-Men were back there. And they just like shut the door. <laughs> that was great. I laughed so hard. But this movie was fantastic. Okay, now I'm worried. I'm very worried that... Um, since Disney is now owning, they bought the rights to X-Men and stuff, I'm scared they're going to mess it up. Now that, I can't agree with everything in the Avengers, I'm sorry. If anybody's upset about it, I cannot agree with it. Not all of it, at least. If you haven't watched Avengers Endgame, yet again, another, another spoiler. It was, that whole fat Thor thing was so stupid. Don't even get me started on that crap. That was, oh my god, I should do like a, a end game review too. But this one really hit home for me because I, I love the X-Men and I love all the characters, you know. But I, I think if they were to do it, somehow they'd have to bring Mystique back. Because, you know, hers and Rogue's, you know, story and everything. But the fact that Wolverine was in the forefront of this because he was nowhere to be seen was fantastic. People just like worship Wolverine a little bit too much. Okay, he's not even that great of a character. I mean, he's a great, he's a good character, but he's not the best. Okay, like there's so much depth to every other character. I don't know. I think it's just because everybody loves Hugh Jackman as him. And I think Hugh Jackman has done a great job as Wolverine all this time. I don't know who they're going to cast to replace him. Because they have to. Because as everyone knows, Logan is a prominent part of the X-Men. So, fingers crossed that Disney doesn't butcher it. Because I'm going to be very upset if they butcher it. 
I don't even know if they're going to make any more of them, to be honest with you. But then again, they could do the Avengers X-Men thing where they fought in the comics, you know. There's a whole Avengers versus X-Men thing. That was good, too. So, they might add them later. I don't know. Because they had Scarlet Witch. You know, I... I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's because they had Scarlet Witch and stuff and they, they couldn't use mutants, you know. So, they changed what they're called. So, they kind of don't want to touch bases on that. But they could. They could touch bases on it. It was just... I don't know. And then they killed Quicksilver off. So, but he's alive in the X-Men, so, I don't know, maybe they'll have it as another dimension, that'd be cool, they can have it as another dimension, I don't know what they're gonna do with it, but, um, just, this video is just to tell everybody that the movie is a lot better than what everyone says it is, they're just upset fanboys, is all complaining about it, but I really love the movie, I would watch it again, the, the special effects, everything was fantastic on it. Okay, even how they brought this alien race there, capture the phoenix and stuff. I, I mean, the whole it was it was just really well done. So just don't listen to the reviews that people say because it is a very good movie. And I, anybody who's a comic lover, I'd be like, go watch this movie because it's fantastic. Yeah. So even if you're even if you're not an X Men fan and you just like the Avengers, I still think it's a good movie because Waffle has not watched any X Men movie. He don't know nothing about the X Men, but he was he really liked the movie too. Okay, so it just proves that the biggest issue people have are continuity problems, and you know they're fanboying, being upset because you know I don't even know. It's just, but it's a fantastic movie. Please go watch it if you if you like the X-Men, just go watch it, because it's, I think it's fantastic. But that's all. I know it's kind of a pretty long video, but I'm going to try and do some longer videos and reviews and stuff for movies and things like that. Um, if you guys like my content, please like and subscribe to my channel for more. I'm going to try and put more up since I've been working less, because they cut my hours. So, yep. I will catch you all later. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a great day. Bye-bye!